Hi, my name is Vinicius Sanger and today I will talk about the Gemalto concept board. Concept board is a board with a module that uh, supports 3G and 2G so you have uh, the connection, uh, you can send text messages, you can place a call, you can receive a call and you can write Java ME midlets uh, you can build any needlets with your solution and uh, another thing is that you have the Arduino shield support also so you can have three good things together behind the board we have this module this module uh, is the main uh, part of the board is the uh, module uh, very lightweight with 3G support, 2G support, and you have 6 megabytes of RAM and 10 megabytes for your applications. You have different uh, GPIO 16. You have analog ports, analog digital converter, and you have I squared C SPI, some power saving features, and airplane module mode to turn off the connection, the wireless connection. And uh, you can use Java ME 3.2, and you can have secure data transmission, and you can even write uh, multi thread uh, midlets, and uh, you can have seven different uh, midlets running at the same time. And the other good thing for big uh, deployments is the over the air provisioning because it can help you to keep your device up to date. You need a Windows machine to start developing by the easy way. Uh, you need to download the SDK 3.2 and you can use NetBeans or Eclipse if you prefer. Today I'm using NetBeans 7.4. And you may need to update your concept board firmware to have the best results. I'm using the version 2.0 firmware 2.0 and if you need to do the upgrade uh, you may check the documentation in the Gemalto's developers on website you need to install the Gemalto Windows drivers and uh, during the installation process it will search for the NetBeans or Eclipse installation so it can add some support for that let's look to my Windows how it looks like so we have the first different thing is that in other devices there is in Portuguese sorry and we have the module the module uh, is a way that you have to connect to your board and you can uh, deploy new uh, midlets new uh, Java ME applications by dragging and drop the, the jar file here and it's the first way to uh, deploy applications to your module and uh, that's the basic different difference and the first thing that you must do when you turn your board in USB like here we have the, the just one light here uh, the, the, the white LED so it seems that the board is working but it isn't uh, we need to press the start button so we have the board really working and windows will try to install the driver and everything so the first tip is press the start button after connecting the usb cable well if you have the drivers installed and that means running you are, you are ready to to check for the samples so in the Gemalto's uh, uh, development kit, they include uh, some examples. I will search for Gemalto here, Centurion. Uh, okay, let's see here, uh, Centurion. And uh, we have the documentation. It's a PDF for Java developers. Uh, some documentation around the GSRs that you have here implemented in the virtual machine and we have the 
examples. So uh, here we have this ATCMD demo. We have this demo. We based our demo in this demo. So we have here in NetBeans the LED blink, which is pretty much the same thing as the ATCMD demo. So the first application will look like this. So you extend from mid -led, like uh, like old times. And here you have uh, an instance of AT command that we are going to use later. And we also have a listener that will be listening to the AT events, like ring change at, uh, is an event that will be uh, that will be fired when uh, you receive a call in a month. So we have another listener here uh, for a T command response listener that we are going to use later also. Uh, in the constructor, we have uh, the, the instance creation here, a T command, and we are going to put a listener, the M listener to the a T command, and we are going to send some commands to the a T, uh, uh, a T commands actually here, we are uh, we are managing the GPIO using AT commands. Since we are using Java ME 3.2, we don't have any kind of standard API for device access or peripheral access. So here is very particular from Gemalto's uh, behavior. So the first thing we are doing is uh, setting up the digital port number 5 to be output so we can write to that and uh, next command we are just blinking the LED uh, in the port number 5 waiting one second and blinking again so that's the basic idea of this example is the LED blinking uh, with your auto concept boards now let's try to run our application uh, I will deploy the application. I will upload the application to my Gemalto board, uh, executing the project. So let's execute and need to find the device here. And so now we have the deployment and it's running the constructor and blinking the LED as you can see in my board. and it sent the command ATAI and the response was Centurion with the name of the module and the uh, firmware version and so the application uh, finished it and that's the basic one it's very fast the LED blinking uh, now let's look at the code of the call for fan this one is uh, we have a little bit more code because we have the the listener now implemented implemented uh, with the ring changed uh, method uh, fillet uh, and uh, if we receive a call and we didn't receive any call in the last uh, 15 minutes we are going to switch the state of the port number six. Uh, so we have here the command being sent to the port number 6 to turn it off and turn off listener and the same for the turn on and here you can see uh, we are sending the command in a synchronous way because since we are inside the asynchronous event we cannot uh, use synchronous uh, way of sending uh, so if you just send the command uh, and wait the, uh, the, the response in the string, it will fail. Your application will stop running. So uh, that's the idea. So we are receiving the, 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 the call and changing, switching the state of the port number 6. And as you can see in the video uh, that we published, this is the URL for the video and this is the call for fan project that you can also download 
in this another URL. So hope you have fun uh, with your Gemato board and with our Jiju with tips and tricks around this very nice way of doing uh, IoT and machine to machine projects. My name is Vinicius Sanger and thanks for watching us.